Hello and welcome to another gauge demo from FIPGages.com So today we're going to take a look at my navigation gauge and this is modelled on the Boeing 747 style navigation but in honesty you can use it in any airliner or actually in any aircraft at all So, uh, first of all I'll cover the buttons Now, the buttons S1 through to S5 aren't actually used on this gauge um, S6 uh, toggles the background colour, so if you prefer a black background then feel free to just hit the S key and that just toggles between black and blue. Okay, now currently I'm on an approach to Gatwick, my ILS is pretty much lined up um, but I am way above the glide slope so I'm going to drop my nose down. So we have the glide slope indicator here and if I push the nose down the glide slope indicator should start pulling back up and there we go. Now as you can see I'm off to the left, so this is my RLS gauge as well, so this indicates um, my path and I'm off to the left at the moment so I need to correct that by pulling over to the right. So it's a standard um, type uh, ILS needle for a navigation gauge. Now the left dial, this does the heading, this is the autopilot heading, so if we give the left dial a spin you can see we're actually setting the heading bug for the autopilot now. In fact, I'm going to engage the autopilot and turn the heading on. It will set an altitude of 2,000 feet. And that should hold now. So now the um, aircraft is pulling towards the heading bug. And if I tuck that across a little bit closer, and it should stop turning the moment it hits the bug and it should start lining up. Okay, now the CRS is set over onto the right, so I'm currently approaching runway 8 at the moment, which is why the CRS is set to 8. But you can move the CRS and the whole ILS needling moves with the CRS as well. You can see the DME setting is showing here as well. And there's an indicator where the ADF is over here as well. So you can see roughly where the DME and the ADF are in the corner indicators. And there's also an indicator of the current heading and the CRS where they are. So obviously if these needles are off the screen, the current visual screen, then you know roughly where they are. So when you turn your heading, you'll start to see these come onto the screen. So the DME is currently at the top and you can see it's also on the screen as well. But so the right needle will move your CRS, the left needle moves your heading. Uh, this currently shows you your, your current heading and also you have your compass across here as well. So in a nutshell that's pretty much the gauge. Um, it's impossible for me to fly and talk at the same time which is why I'm all over the place. But if I reset the approach uh, you'll see that pretty much everything settles back. But I need to get my CRS to centre. Runway 8, there we go. Okay, so I hope that was useful and you get to actually see the gauge working. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. If you have any comments, please leave them below and come back and check out more videos. Thank you.